Hello everybody, Empress Jeezy here again. And I have a request from someone to make condensed milk. You know, as it is, um, condensed milk um, is used in a lot of um, big stuff, ice cream, your cookies. And it's expensive, you know. Um, this is a 500 milliliter one right here. And this on sale, I got it for $2. A regular price for uh, the for a condensed milk is like three ninety nine four bucks for a five hundred milliliter. No, this is three hundred. Three hundred. This is the standard size, three hundred milliliter. So I got this on sale because you know what, I'm the sale queen. You know, <laughs> so President Choice is a good brand, and I think it's um you know I've seen it in there for a while now for um two dollars for a three hundred milliliter um tin. This is for a while I've been going now, you know. But as for all the regular brands there are um three seventy nine three ninety nine four dollars for that and if you think of because I know we West Indian um love our carrot juice with condensed milk like for me I don't really use um a lot of condensed milk um but you know once in a while if you're gonna do your porridge and um you um some people love it in their um carrot juice sour sap juice and then again, you know, some people just take um, lime and um, some sugar in, um, you know, their, their drinks. Anyway, it's very popular um, in Canada. And it's very popular condensed milk. And you know what? There's a lot of links on um, YouTube how to do it. Basically, I've been making it for, like I said, I've made most of the stuff I use. Yesterday, or day before yesterday, I made mayonnaise. Um, and I'm going to be making a few more, uh, you know, I buy my own green herbs and dry them, my oregano, my basil, my sage. I just put away, I just ground up some sage the other day. I make my own turmeric um, because I buy the turmeric and I, you know, I don't use a dehydrator. I just use the oven. You could just leave it outside to dry, stuff like that. So I make a lot of my own stuff, you know. Um, and for me, I love that because, you know, I've seen what what actually gone into them. So right now... And this is a very simple thing to make. Um, this is no, and it's all over YouTube. So I'm not gonna stand here taking the credit that oh, you know, um, condensed milk is very easy to make. But a lot of people sometimes we just go to the store and pick up a thing they find it easier. So basically, I'm gonna be doing. I'm um, seeing you know, a lot on YouTube, but I'm gonna put a twist on mine because you know me, I like to do my stuff and spice it up a bit. So I'm gonna, you know, go with it. Right now, you need a cup of boiling water. And what I did, I let my water boil already, right? And we're going to use the blender. So we need a cup of boiling water. I hope you can see that. So I, I boiled the kettle um, a few minutes ago. It makes it easier. So I've done that. Okay. So I'm going to just adjust it so you can see the pot on the fire. Okay, I think that's much better because I didn't realize. So I just put a cup of boiling water inside the pot. And what you're going to be doing to that, you're going to be adding two um, cups. Um, use, um, you could use brown sugar or any sugar you want, but I preferred to use the white sugar. So you want to, you know, you will see the color, okay? And that, um, you need two cups of white sugar. Like I said, it's by choice. Use whatever sugar you preferred, okay? Um, nothing is written in stone. You know, I always say to people, so... I, if you want to get the full effect of a certain recipe, you got to use um, traditional things, you know, because uh, remember, remember, it's not every day you're going to be drinking condensed milk, right? So I just prefer to do it, you know, the right way. And when you do it with the white sugar, it's give it that consistency. So I am going to be turning on the stove that's done to, um, so the sugar is going to be boiled till it comes to a syrup, a syrup form you know then we go from there so we need two cups of sugar and like i said i'm using white sugar because um the brown sugar is going to give it a dark color and this can be made in many different ways you can use skim milk but i don't use skim milk because skim milk has a lot of sugar in it to go to begin with a lot of people don't realize that skim milk you take out the fat and you gotta add something for it to it and it is sugar so and plus skim milk you know you're not gonna i don't know you're not gonna get the same effect you know 
so you're gonna stir the sugar until it form into a syrup you know um so i'm gonna be doing a little bit of stirring right now and get it to that consistency of um you know becoming a syrup and it's best to use a blender that you has a port hole there that you can slowly um you know you because you're gonna need to um you know put your milk inside the blender once the sugar syrup is there and you don't want to throw it all in throw it all in at once you're going to want to do that slowly you know so and right now um that come to a boil and became formed like syrup and then we'll take it from there so we just have to keep stirring it so it's one cup of water to two cups of granulated sugar it could be brown sugar it could be no no use honey honey won't won't work at least i don't think and you know making this milk can be make um one of the best way i normally make it is with full-fledged um milk um 38 percent um all milk because remember the higher the fat is the better it is for your system because that helps to break down fat in your system. Um, skim milk won't do anything for fat. So you need uh, a very high saturated fat. So the best, one of the best one to make it with is with, um, uh, what is the name of this milk? Um, the milk that I used to make the cheesecake, you know, that's full blown milk. And that's like 30, 40% solid fat. And that one you'll boil the milk on the fire and add the sugar to it you know so that's one of, that's the best milk to use and you could also use coconut milk I've tried it with coconut milk but coconut milk is a slow process it's gonna take you about five hours because you have to leave it in a very slow heat and just let it take its time do its thing you know now whipped cream that's it that whipped cream whipped cream is one of the best milk to drink because it has the higher content um, consistent their fat and that's what you need to use in the body to fight fat fat fight fat skim milk is not a good thing skim milk is just sugar and skim milk you know so there so anyway that's that so i'm gonna set up the blender because that's sort of getting to the point where um it's boiling down to sugar to um syrup and on the blender don't use pulp because it's gonna go in hot and if you hit that pulp you could burn yourself pretty pretty bad so don't do not hit the pulse button for that it's just gonna mix and i think you could put it on um i think mixing should do it so you see right now it's this it's turning into a syrup okay see yeah this is what you want to get with all the sugar is dissolved okay see so this is more like a syrup this is basically syrup the syrup you get in the bottle what do you think this is how they do it and they just add color into it and you know it's no real strawberry <laughs> or, or you know cherry it's uh, it's artificial flavor that had to it you because you're not gonna get real you know i think there is real syrup out there from real um Thing, but I think the majority of one that you buy for like three ninety nine or so. No, that ain't real. Okay, so basic rule right now. That becomes syrup. So, I'm just adjusting my, you know, I'm doing my thing here. So, um, don't have a cameraman. So, working by myself. So I'm gonna be adding the syrup into the blender. I use. I always use a glass blender. Never like anything plastic. This is why with um, Ninja, you know, I know it probably do a lot of stuff and thing, but no, I like my glass blender. Um, because the Ninja one, I um, think it, they said it's some kind of a, you know, a plastic or whatever. But um, like I said, I love my anything um glass. I don't like um any plastic I don't use plastic can container if I can help it or uh, you know because there's a thing in there called 
polyurethane that break down in and some of these plastic are so cheap so you know you're not going to get any quality um i think rubber rubber made plastic is much better if you want to use plastic container but all plastic has this thing called polyurethane in it and once it breaks down and that goes into your system it's not good so right now i'm going to be getting the um cup milk powder and i need two cups and if it's too still thin you can also add another cup so you know so i'm going to put in this in very slowly so i'm going to put in one right now and let it start to bubble let it start to go and you know you can stop it at times and um scrape it down so Add, um since it's doing so well I'm just gonna add in the other cup and if it's still too thin even though it requires just two you can add more so as you go along see it's getting thicker now because I had the second um yeah. see it's getting much thicker And what you do, you just use your um, wooden spoon as usual and just um, getting thicker, yeah. You just use a wooden spoon to just make sure it all blends in and you don't have any big amount around the edge. Um, so... I'm just gonna continue to blend it till it all blend out and it's done. Oh oh I forgot you have to put um you put uh are you I put it I had a tablespoon uh, te uh a teaspoon of um vanilla to mine and you have to put a quarter teaspoon of baking soda a quarter teaspoon of baking soda and the, the vanilla the vanilla is just optional I, I just like to put it in mine because it gives it such a nice taste you know so that's the baking soda right there a quarter teaspoon of baking soda and i like i said i i'm you know i just put in a teaspoon of vanilla to it it gives it such a nice taste you know so i add a teaspoon of vanilla to it and that's my twist on, on it um i don't know if any other people does it um add it but i know i like to add it I like vanilla and um, not Megan Cinnamon and just about everything. So just like how oh, I love my cayenne pepper and my chili pepper and my scotch bonnet pepper and everything. Okay, so that is in, in, in there now. Everything is there. So a quarter teaspoon of um, baking soda. And I add optional um, a teaspoon of vanilla. And you just blend. see what's the consistency because often time I add a little bit of milk to it more milk to it if I find it's um you know I know it requires two um two cups of milk but it's how it's how thick you you wanna basically oh look at that and once it's cool folks it's just gonna get thick you know so it's two 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 cups of milk that's fine so I'm just gonna blend it up because if you want to get it a little bit thicker, just blend it a little more, a little longer. And you can do a little bit of pulsing now.
kicking it out. And folks, I think that's a little bit more blending. Then I think that's done. Yeah. See how easy it is, folks? Um, just take a few minutes and a few ingredients. Your milk powder. Two cups of milk powder, two cups of sugar, to a cup of water. You had a quarter teaspoon of um of baking powder. And you're done. And you just blend it and you're done. And this is um I think this could give me this is about two cans right there. Yeah, this is about two cans. So there you go folks so you save some money right there and the thing about it sometimes you know people told me all the time they're doing a dish and they completely forgot that it, it consists of um condensed milk and they have to run out to the store sometimes the store is not even too close by jump in the car and go and when, when they, once you have all of these ingredients at home you just throw it in the blender two twos and you get milk so like I said, once this became cool, it is going to be getting thicker and thicker and thicker. And this can last in the fridge for, you know, I last, mine lasts in the fridge for, I don't even check how long it lasts because um, it lasts. It doesn't spoil, it doesn't go bad. So that's one bottle there. And once you see it get thick, folks, oh, it's thick, getting thick right now, you know. So I'm pretty sure this is too, basically this is too, um, too, too, it's about 600 milliliter right here. But you know, if you look at this and the one thing right there is for, if I didn't get that on sale, that thing would be about three, four dollars. Because most of them is like three ninety nine, so it's rounded out to four dollars, right? So, and the President Choice is one of the best one you get out there. When you go, I go to um certain store, no frill or um any any store that sells President Choice stuff, and that's for a while. I've been going and getting it for um two dollars for the tin. But all the other ones are three dollars and half. So folks, that's what I get from two cups of milk, two cups of sugar. And like, like I said, that when I measure it out, that's two tin right there. So, and this is what you pay. You'd be paying in a regular price four dollars for one of these. Three from three ninety nine, basically that's four dollars. You know, and you can use as much as you want at home because you know you can make it. So, guys, that is condensed milk there. You know, you just put it in the fridge and. You can do your sour syrup, you can do your carrot juice. And you know what? It's using a lot of bacon, like for cakes, for cookies, and it's big in some ice cream right now. You know, so it is you know, condensed milk has been around for a while. But like I said, it's expensive, you know, and this is an easy way you do it at home. Look at that. That's your condensed milk right there. So folks, I hope that helps and you you know, um, who have the time to give, give, you know, give it a try and you will save some money right there okay all right folks take it easy don't forget to like share and subscribe if you like all right i'm out peace